Hello guys. So I was reading the book Cracking the Coding Interview uh, recently, which I make sure to put a link in the description below so you can get the book yourself. It's a book about um, different questions that top companies such as Google, Apple, Amazon uh, ask you to, to program or, or ask you questions about, and it has a lot of these solutions in it as well. So one of the questions was to implement in a, an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to implement implement an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to include stdio.h and then since I'm going to be working with strings I'm going to include um, string.h and let's go ahead and create our main function and I'm going to return the value 0 alright and now let's get our hands dirty a little bit so I'm going to first create an array it's going to be um, of, of course a uh, one dimensional array and it's going to hold some characters, something like hello. Now, this array is not unique because, or does not have um, all unique characters because we see that it has L here and it has another L um, right there. So that is not a array with all unique characters. Okay, so I'm also going to need the length of the array. So I'm going to call it len. And I'm going to use strlen function um, to get the length of our array. And then I'm going to use a variable that will tell us if uh, the characters in the array are unique or not. And I'll call that variable is unique. And I'm going to set it equal to 1, which means that we are setting is unique. To true, saying that yes, right now every right now we're assuming that everything is unique in the array, regardless if it is or isn't. And if it isn't, later on we're going to change it uh, to another value, probably zero is what I'm thinking. That would tell us that no, we were wrong in our assumption that it's not unique, so uh, the value will be different than one. All right, and then I'm going to probably need two for loops. So I'm going to need two indexes. I'm going to use i and j. And now let's go ahead and create our for loop. So for i equals 0, i is going to be less than the length of the array. And we're going to increment i by 1 each time. And within this loop, we're going to have another loop. From j equals 0, j is going to be less than the length of the array. And then j is going to increment by 1 as well. Alrighty. And let me make sure I put my comments here. So this is the algorithm that will determine if our array is unique. Alrighty. And let's see if I want to put any comments anywhere else. Maybe here. Make sure I put the length of the array. Um, the length of the array and this right here is just our array of characters that we're going to use all right perfect so now within this array if the indexes are not the same so that's if i does not equal j then then we will check to see if um uh if the character at this specific index matches with another character in a different index. So here, right here, I'm just checking if the indexes are different. Um, if they are, then we will compare the element at position i with the element at position J. 
Okay. So now we're about to do that as well right now. So if the array at position i is equal to the array at position j, then it's not unique. So we will update our unique value. So is unique um, will equal 0. So right here, we are comparing um, elements in the array with other elements in the array. And if, if these elements are um, equal, then the array of characters are not unique. So here, um, where we put is unique, we are updating is unique variable to be equal to zero to represent false. Okay. So now let's do an if statement. So if is unique is equal to one, then that means that it never went to this um, uh, it never went to this if statement here. So this was never true. So it never got updated to zero. And I make sure I spell is unique correctly. So if that's the case, then we can print that all of the letters or characters, all of the characters are unique. And maybe a new line and a period. And then of course the semicolon. Else we will print something very similar. All of the characters are not unique. All right, so let's give this um, a run. Let's see, file, save as um, dot C, and I think I will call this uh, uh, unique characters. Unique characters dot C. All right, let's run it. And oh, that's because I just saved it. Unique characters. Now let's run it. All right, let's uh, make this a little bit bigger. So right now we get all of the characters are not unique, which is what we expected with the word hello. Let's try hello without two L's. So now every character in this array is unique. Now let's run it. So it says all of the characters are unique, just like we wanted as well. And let's try maybe A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So basically the alphabet. So let's run it. And all the characters are unique. And let's add in another letter, maybe uh, G at the end here. And of course, so we have a G here and we have a G at the end of our string. So let's run it. So it should not be unique. All the characters are not unique, just like we expected. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I have a link to the code in the description as well as a link to that book coding um, or if I can remember the name, um, cracking the coding interview. So thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave likes, leave comments. Thank you guys. See you later.